Good morning everybody, welcome back to The Average Artist. Basically, guys, my Kickstarter has been fully funded and it super exceeded all my expectations, so I'm so happy that I get to share the comic with so many people and I can't wait to print it, so I'm just finalizing all the final details because it is the last six days of the project, but I just need to do all this stuff that I've written down and there's a lot to do, so I need to finish the comic. I've finished it and I made like <laughs> this mock-up is pretty rubbish and then I've gone through and just been like okay this looks weird like change this change this I want to change little things so that's what I've done this is the worst mock-up booklet ever but yeah and so that's it I'm just going through everything and I'm having that real like yesterday I was so weird about it like I felt so down about it like thinking it was bad and I don't know why because I don't think it's bad I just had this giant fear that it was the worst thing I've ever made and everyone's gonna hate it and I've got all these people waiting for it to be sent out to and it's just and I don't even like it but then I do like it so I don't know I just was in a weird mood yesterday I think you guys probably have that feeling as well sometimes about your art and yeah and I don't know why I thought that because it's good. I think it's good. And that's why I've made a Kickstarter for it. Otherwise I wouldn't have done that. So I just need to reaffirm that in myself and just faith in myself, I guess. Okay, and then I've got a finished comic, which is what I've just shown you. So it's near, it's near end stages. I'm gonna do a pattern print because I want, so there's gonna be the cover and then inside pages, I'm gonna have um, an insert page and I want it to be like the pattern and then maybe my, like a little thing from me talking about the comic maybe or just my links social medias and stuff and then i need to do finish the cover the cover is done i just you know again little things to finish off there make sure it's to the standard that i want it to be and i need to do a back cover as well which i think might just be waves and then i'll do a little synopsis on the back possibly but i don't know if it needs a synopsis because it's such a short comic not sure yet uh, i need to finish the pocket mirror design which i know is just going to be some waves which will look really nice as the final design but it should be read relatively simple to complete and then I want to prepare all the print files because I feel like as soon as I get the money in from the Kickstarter I want to send the files off to be printed so I want to pay for the printing like instantly so I can get all these things relatively quickly back so then I can send them out as quickly as possible so I'm working on the pattern that's going to be the insert page of the book I'm going to jig these around in Photoshop to look nicer like more of a pattern but these are the items that sort of appear in the book and I wanted to put them in a pattern this will appear before you know you have the story so it will be like this and then I'm gonna have like a little thing here saying my name and my social medias possibly and then uh, the cover is obviously on top and then it will be on the back page as well. So it just looks nicer, more professional to have like a little insert page and I'm just working on that now. And I'm gonna make this one of the prints that my Kickstarters get. So all the stretch goals at the moment are the print and the pocket mirror and we've only got five days left so I don't think I'll hit the the enamel pins but that would have been nice but that's fine because I'm already really pleased with what I've got and yeah so I'm gonna do a pattern and then I'm gonna make that the print as well because I think that'll be quite cool but I need to color this in what I did was look up some reference pictures for the different items and then drew them in my sketchbook then I scanned them in and um, sized them up then printed them out and then I went over with a brown pencil because I haven't really got any black ones left on the light box and then I scanned that in and then I printed this out as black line so it looked nicer and I'm gonna just color this in and see what comes of it then I'll have to scan it into the computer and make a different pattern and that stuff but you'll see that now
I got these print examples from Mixer. Yeah, I was going to print the comic with this place called Awesome Merchandise, and I really like them as a company and I really like their stuff. But then um, I was checking the prices and it was like less to print with these guys than it was to print with Awesome Merchandise. So I thought if anything I should check out what their products are like. So I ordered an example box of their stuff and also I did the same with Awesome Merchandise. This one arrived pretty quickly and the Awesome Merchandise one hasn't arrived yet. But yeah these guys they sent me this instantly and I was checking, I, it was all a matter of like if the quality is good. I have this product that I need to send out to people, I want it to be good, but I really like the style that they've sent me. They, they basically say, send you like examples of all the paper that they print on and what it's like and yeah, and I've really discovered which print I want. So this is like soft touch laminate and it feels really good, you can't feel it but it feels super nice. So I think I might have that as a cover. And then I really like the Litho recycled paper. Don't laugh at me guys, but I don't know how to say GSM. Um, but it's like the 90 GSM. It's not even the the thicker paper. It just fe it feels nice, and I think like it would it would make like the type of paper and stuff would make it look nice. The recycled. I don't know. I just it's just something to think about, and I really really liked also mer merchandise. I'm definitely using them to print the pocket mirrors and to print prints because they're good quality and I know that they will um, do a good job. This is really good quality and it's up to my standards then why wouldn't I go with them? It just doesn't, you know what I mean? You've got to really think about these things. I've chosen those papers. I do like the matte laminate as well for the cover. I don't like shiny pages for the comic because I think it's better to have it really matte so the recycled paper doesn't really reflect light very much. So that would be really good for my comic whereas a shiny one would reflect it and you don't see the details so well and the text because it's smaller it would just work better on a recycled type of paper okay um yeah that's my update for today it's sunday so i've got to get on with doing some more stuff because it's nearing the end so i have to work on the weekend which kind of sucks but next weekend i'm gonna party hopefully hopefully i have it all done let's roll okay i finished the pocket mirror design which was really fun to draw i'll just show you guys the rough concepts now okay so here's the rough concept that i did in my sketchbook of what i kind of wanted i was always going to have for the pocket mirror just waves designs but then i thought it'd be quite cool to have like a hand reaching out and it's not in the story or anything but i just thought it'd be like a fun design and it's kind of horror-ish um related so then i drew it out and yeah i've just colored it in and then i scanned it in and stuff and this is the actual size so it's probably about that big little pocket mirror that's quite cool isn't it and yeah i'm excited to get these printed and created so those are going out to all physical tier um people on kickstarter so everyone's getting that for free basically and yeah it's exciting so that's it it is now Wednesday and I don't have much else to say except that I've got the prints ready to be sent. The comic is finished, done all the tweaks and I'm pretty happy with it. The cover is done, I might do a few more tweaks to that and I need to do the back page still and that's the only thing that's left. And that's it guys, I'm really excited to be able to send these files off to the printer as soon as I get the money from Kickstarter so it should be a fairly quick and painless process, she says with fingers crossed. That's basically my vlog for this week and I hope you liked it. Thanks for stopping by and if you haven't checked out the Kickstarter, no pressure. But thanks for everybody who has. You guys are amazing, you've made it so awesome for me and I'm so happy right now that I'm able to print this comic and have a copy and send out a copy and have people actually read it and it's really exciting for me. So thank you so much. And I'd like to give a shout out to all my patrons, especially the $12 tier patrons who get a shout out at the end of my videos. So they are Erica, James and Cecile, Stephen Lee, Tim, Tom, Megan and Babbitt. Thank you guys, you're the real MVPs. If anybody out there would like a shout out at the end of my videos, then check out my patron down below. Just to let you guys know that we will be playing Dead by Daylight again over on Gibraltar Gamers channel tomorrow night at 8pm GMT+. We played this in honour of my horror comic on Kickstarter and now it's in its final week we thought we played again and you can come join us and chat and watch me get murdered again probably. And here's a little sneak peek of what we got up to last week. Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Just 
run, just run. Da, 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 da. Make me ride by it. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> You're so mean. You're so mean and horrible, and I hate you. Don't fight. And the one you wear a mask because you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure. <laughs> Somebody else play the killer. Thanks for watching again, guys. See you soon. Bye.